January 26, Sunday, Third Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light, on those who dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee, in his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. The Gospel of the Lord Light has arisen. Jesus is the light that has arisen to the Gentiles in the land of Galilee. According to Matthew, this is the fulfillment of a prophecy in Isaiah. People in that area are perceived to be sitting in darkness and overshadowed by death. Even the Jews who live there are not as religious as the residents of Jerusalem. They do not have the luxury of going to the temple and being taught by many experts in religion. There are more times that they mix with the Gentiles because of commerce. One may recall the light that guided the Magi to Bethlehem as reported earlier by Matthew. It led them to worship the child Jesus, who himself gave joy to them, in the presence of Joseph and Mary, his parents. Now the child has become a full-blown man and a preacher. With authority, he calls four fishermen to follow him, to fish or catch people. With them, Jesus teaches in the synagogues in Galilee, proclaiming the kingdom and healing all sorts of illness. Indeed, light has arisen. Now, the good news is heard by the Gentiles, not only the Jews, and they are healed of their diseases. Isaiah describes the Messiah as bringing the Gentiles abundant joy. That feeling of having an abundant harvest and of dividing spoils after a victory in war of liberation. The land in Galilee is fertile, unlike the land of Judea, which is mostly desert. The land in Galilee has also been the site of wars and a good breeding place for rebels like the Zealots because of its terrain. One cannot easily be spotted there. Paul urges the Corinthian Christians to unite in the same mind and in the same purpose. There should be zero tolerance for divisions. Christianity is not about belonging to a fans club, but belonging to Christ himself. Their baptism does not make them belong to anyone, but to Christ. It is the same baptism, though it may be administered by different missionaries. Light cannot arise without unity and joy in the community. Light can be extinguished when nobody follows Christ anymore and everybody goes his own way. Is there light in your family or community? Are you a tightly knit group that transcends conflicts, differences, personal interests, and bad experiences? <music>